I've mentioned this strategy that's taking place to try to basically make the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, unsustainable financially, which is that of convincing young people to simply not get insurance. OK, and I have video here. Uh, the Concerned Women of America spokeswoman went on. Who knows? Who cares? And she said that, uh, you, that what really we need to do is, first of all, of course, prayer and and trying to get God's help to do the Christian thing, apparently to end Obamacare is what we should do. But also young people shouldn't get health insurance. Check it out. There has been so much money thrown at this train wreck that we're going to feel the repercussions of. And honestly, Obamacare is built on the backs of young people. Anybody who's looked at it understands that we really shouldn't be calling young people like myself young invincibles. We should be calling them the young subsidizers. And so I think you're going to start seeing them waking up and realizing that they're not buying it. They're not buying into having to subsidize a government run program that's a complete fail. And this is much more than a website, as your viewers understand, a website problem. This is the problem of big government coming in to try and run something like health care. All right. Well, quickly, Allison, what are you encouraging your members and fellow Americans to do? Absolutely. Keep calling your congressman. Please send your stories to us, my story at CWFA.org, and continue to pray. That's something that we know is so important here, prayer and action. And um, continue to pray for our nation's leaders, that they have wisdom um, and clarity how to fix this very broken problem and help us completely heal as a country. So this is it's slightly different than saying choose prayer over medicine. It's choose prayer over med instead of choose prayer over medicine for healing diseases. It's choose prayer over health insurance for healing the country. Is that what it is, Lewis? Well, I'm not sure what I heard when when she was talking about this. I can't really tell <laughs> when, when 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 she's saying they're not buying into it. Uh, does that mean just buying that it's a program that works or literally buying it? Well, uh, yes, you're making an interesting uh, distinction there. And it's, it's very difficult to figure out exactly what she's talking about, because part of it is also involving prayer. And what exactly are you praying for? Are you praying that the, the poor and the sick don't get the care that uh, they need? What exactly are you praying for? And as Reverend Mark Sandlin told us last week on the show, any time in Christian teachings, in Christian scripture, that someone needed health care or wanted health care, Jesus wanted them to have it and provided it to the extent that he could. How has it become the Christian thing to do to try to destroy the, the Affordable Care Act? I don't understand. I guess we've just got this strange connection between Christianity and big business where the, it's some type of symbiotic relationship and uh, you can't really separate the two. And remember that it was Newt Gingrich and conservatives and the Heritage Foundation back in the 90s that initially came up with the individual mandate idea. They were all for it until it was President Obama who said, yeah, let's include that in what we're doing. All of a sudden now they're against it. If ha had it been a conservative proposal, the individual mandate would have been, uh, you know, joint sacrifice the way Jesus had wanted or something like that. They would have come up with something for sure. You can you can absolutely uh, uh, be assured of that. 